ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड विद द पार्ट नंबर टू लेट्स जस्ट कॉन्फिगर द आई पैरामीटर्स ऑन राउटर आर ओके सो लेट्स कम टू आर नाउ Go to CLI. Enable it. Okay. Now on Aati again issue the same command show version. And you will also see here that security package is been mentioned is none. So now you all know which command we have to fire here before we go ahead. So we'll just go. scroll up and we'll copy the same command that is license boot module c1900 technology package security k9 copy it come here get yourself into configuration mode and paste it enter it will ask your acceptance say why enter and then enter okay now exit from here and before you begin with the practical make sure you fire this command copy run start and say confirm and then reload confirm again so it will take time and you will see if you fire the same command show version the security package have been installed successfully and now we can actually begin with the practical yeah so we are back here enable it okay get yourself into configuration mode no need first let me see we can see the version of the package so type show version the privilege mode and keep on clicking enter and you will see we are we are able to see the entries here okay so get yourself here now into configuration mode now corner of t and now identify the interesting traffic on the r1 same thing vice versa now Okay, we have to fire this command from one point one zero. No, this was for R one, right? Let me come down here. Okay, configure the router R three to support a side to side VPN on with R one. Same command access list, but now the source will become three point zero and the destination will become one point zero. So I'll just copy this command. We are creating the access list one one zero. We'll come here and paste it. I guess it is not working because in the com command was incomplete. So in that case, I'll complete this command zero point zero point zero point two fifty five, and that's it. Okay. So now configure the IK phase one ISAC MP properties on R three. So this are the command crypto ISAC MP policy ten, the same command which we have fired on R one. Then encryption AES two fifty six. Coming back here, paste it. Then authentication pre-share, copy and then paste it here. And the group five is a command. Group five, and then exit. And inside config mode, you have to fire this command for the other side interface. Okay. One point one point two, and then click enter. Okay. So this was the interface, right? One point ten point one point one point two. Okay, this R one interface has been configured with that IP address. Okay, and now let's move on to step number four. Coming back here, now configure the IK phase two IP sec policy on R three. So on R three, we have to fire this big command. Create the transform set VPN set to use ESP. that is encapsulating security payload which is responsible for encrypting and authenticating the packets which is a part of the ipsec protocol so coming back here paste it and then enter it's done now fire rest all the command copy and then coming here paste and then enter then description vpn connect connection to the r1 So this practical is pretty simple. You just have to remember the command from R1 side, and similarly on same way, you have to fire the same command on R3 towards R1 side. Okay. Then enter. Then set peer 10.1.1.2. Then set transform set VPN set. 
then match the address with the access control list and finally exit okay now we have to just configure the interface so here we have to configure the outgoing serial interface that is 001 in that case what is the interface on our case outgoing is if i place the mouse you should come to know if i place the mouse for this router outgoing is serial 011 and for that it was 010 so we were right so in this case we have 011 accordingly we have to select the interface okay so first of all we have to exit from here okay exit exit okay choose the interface serial in s0 slash 1 slash 1 enter and say crypto map vpn hyphen map enter so i say mp is on now now we are done with part number two here so now we are in final part part number three verify the ipsec vpn so verify the tunnel prior to interesting traffic issue the command show crypto ipsec sa command on r1 let's see so copy this command go to r1 okay uh, exit from this configuration interface mode exit from configuration mode also get yourself into privilege mode and fire this command show crypto ipsec sa let's see what answer we get enter okay so lots of information we are getting here now notice that the number of packets encapsulated encrypted decapsulated and decrypted all are all are set to zero we can see not compressed zero decompress has been zero encapsulated packet zero encrypted packet zero okay now create the interesting traffic so we'll try to ping pcc from pca so let's minimize this okay go to pca and on the other end we'll try to ping pcc okay so the ip address for pcc was 182.168.3.3 so from pca from the left to the right i'm trying to ping now we'll wait for the reply we're getting request time out here okay and finally in the fourth packet we got the reply so let's try to ping one more time so now we are getting the reply successfully okay in the start it has taken the time so now you all can see the reply we are getting the connectivity is successful now let me close this come back here now verify the tunnel after interesting traffic again fire the same command on the router and let's see what information we get so keep on clicking enter and same command show crypto ipsec i see now this time you will see the encapsulated packet is seven encrypted packet are seven decapsulated six decrypted six something like that we are getting the count here okay so notice that the number of packets is more than zero now now create the uninteresting traffic like try to ping pcb from pca that means from this pca to this pcb right okay so let me go to pca go to command prompt and that is uninteresting traffic right so that is 2.3 so let's click enter and we are getting the reply connectivity successful right now moving on so we created the uninterested traffic and now again verify the tunnel again fire the same command show crypto ipsec and notice that the number of packet has not changed let's see because it is only counting the interesting traffic it should not count the uninteresting traffic packets so let me say enter and again fire the same command and we can see there are no changes in the count of the packets encapsulated or decapsulated or encrypted or decrypted it is still same seven and six so it is only working for this interesting traffic right that is from r1 to r3 it is not working for r1 to r2 that's what we are trying to verify here and we are through we are done so basically all the packets traveling from this end 
towards on this end are traveling through VPN tunnel. They are getting encapsulated. They are getting encrypted, decrypted and decapsulated using IPsec protocol. And the uninteresting traffic remains unchanged. So that's it from this practical. Thank you. That's all guys from this video. If you really like this video, press like button and do subscribe to our channel. If any queries or suggestions, do comment below. For more such updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.